I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw an autumn leaf wreath. So I'm going to start right here in the center. I'm just going to draw a straight line, cross it with a straight line, straight line, diagonal on the left, straight diagonal on the right. Okay. Now we're going to work our way around so we don't get mixed up. I'm going to start with this top one and I'm just going to go straight line, straight diagonal, straight diagonal. Starting at the bottom. Curve line, curve line, curve line over, curve line, curve line, connect. I'm going to do the same thing here. Curve line, curve line, over, curve line, curve line, connect. Come down to this one. Curve line, curve line over, curve line, curve line, connect. These are all going to be repeating patterns, but I'm going to try and do my tips first. So I come over here to the right and I draw my straight diagonals. Curve line, curve line, curve line over, curve line, curve line, connect. Curve line, curve line, over, curve line, curve line, connect. Curve line, curve line, over, curve line, curve line, connect. See how we're working our way? It's almost like a wheel. Come down to this one, straight diagonal out, straight diagonal out. Curve line, curve line, curve line, over, curve line, curve line, connect. Curve line, curve line, over. Curve line, curve line, connect. Curve line, curve line, over. Curve line, curve line, connect. Come down, straight diagonal, straight diagonal. Curve line, curve line, over. Curve line, curve line, connect. Curve line, curve line, curve line, over. Curve line, curve line, connect. Curve line, curve line, over. Curve line, curve line, connect. Come down to the bottom, straight diagonal out, straight diagonal out. And everybody's is going to look different because we all draw differently, but we all do curve line, curve line over, curve line, curve line, connect. This is called a repeating pattern. We're going to try and not make them all even, but we're just going to use the same format on making our leaves. So you do your straight diagonals, you do your curves over, curve line over, curve line over. So you can work your way around. Curve lines over, curve line over, whoops, curve line over, connect. Let's do one more. And we'll talk for a minute. Curve line, curve line over. Curve line, curve line, connect. Curve line, curve line over. Curve line, curve line, connect. That needs a little bit longer. And connect. So basically we've done a repeating pattern all the way around. But now we've got all this space here. So we can still put in more leaves. Draw a straight diagonal. Curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line over, curve line, curve line, curve line, and I'm building right on my diagonal lines that are already drawn. Now I can still fill in another curve line curve line over connect 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 curve line curve line, over, connect. Curve line, curve line, over, connect.
curve line, curve line, over, connect. Now I look at it and I go, okay, where do I still need a leaf? I have space right here. I'm just going to put a diagonal and draw a leaf. I've got room here. I'm just going to fill it in. Looks like I have one here. Diagonal, curve line over and down. Looks like I can even do one here. Over, connect. Maybe, maybe that's it. Now, I want it to look like they're falling too, so I do a curve line on the right. Curve line, curve line over. Curve line, curve line, connect. Going the opposite direction. Curve line, curve line over. Curve line, curve line, connect. And one over here. Curve line. Curve line, curve line over. Curve line, curve line, connect. Now, look at your picture and see if there are any more spaces that could use a leaf. I think right here I might be able to put another one. And I think we're ready to color. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, we're going to do light to dark and we're just going to put yellow curved lines or up and down on all of the leaves. Now what you might want to do is session one you might want to draw your wreath of leaves, fall leaves, autumn leaves for session one and then session two have this be a two day or a two hit situation do your coloring. Now we're doing autumn colors so that's going to be yellows oranges, you could use greens, purples, pretty much anything. But I'm going to concentrate on yellows, oranges, some brown, a little bit of green, go all the way around. So sometimes it's hard to remember where you did your yellow or where you did your crayon. So what I like to do, just start at one space and go all the way around. All right, once you have that yellow on, now you can come back in and you can do some orange. And it just has to be some lines because we're almost doing quadruple coloring, triple coloring, four times coloring is quadruple. If you're working so hard, you're hand starts to hurt you're doing it too hard so take your time you just want to get some of that color on there keep going though that's why I said it probably would work out better or best if you did this in a two double session you don't want to get tired then it's no fun okay once I've done regular orange if you have red orange or even just a regular red you can come in and add a little bit of red orange to all your leaves also. Now this is where some people might want to do purple you know a little bit of dark green go ahead and add like I said work your way around it's a wreath all the way now, once you've um, filled in your leaves with your lines, the last part is pretty simple. Because what you're going to do is take a regular brown, regular brown crayon, and just color over your other colors. That's the quadruple. And if you can do that, You've got a wreath of autumn leaves ready for fall. Some of you might want to take your other color like your 
green and add a little bit of green but I'm going to keep mine in this range work your way around doesn't need a lot because see you've got all those other colors once you get all those other colors on there it's pretty simple just to add this on okay I think that's everything okay now what I did this is optional I took my regular green and I put a dotted line along the edge of my drawing just to kind of finish the edges kind of gives it a quilt look and then lightly not dark lightly I just put some straight lines like I always do to fill in the background space keep going all the way to the edge that's optional you don't have to do that okay let's see what this looks like all colored in okay here is my autumn leaf wreath all colored in okay bye bye